So you've probably seen an episode of Catfish, and one of the ways that Neve and Max check up on the different online personalities is to do a reverse image search. So I want to talk about doing a reverse image search um, on your Chromebook. The first couple of ways are going to start with uh, the Google Images page itself. So this is not just regular Google, this is Google Images, um, and they have a search bar. And what you can do is click on the little camera where it says search by image, and you have two different options. You can either paste the image URL or you can upload an image. So if you have an image from a social media website, a profile picture or something like that, you can click on upload an image and you can choose your file. I've already downloaded a picture to my downloads folder that's actually my uh, profile from my Twitter account. Um, and I'm going to upload that. You can see that I immediately get results in the form of my Twitter profile pic, which I was expecting, along with some other options. Um, visually similar images, and then as you start to go down, you can see there are actually a couple websites where um, my picture is on it. So if you're looking for where are other places on the internet that this picture shows up, that Google image search told us exactly where to go. Now, another way you can do this, Google images, Google image search, search by image is through URL. So you can go, um, say you find an image online or you're doing a, even a, a regular, just searching Google images for a picture of, I don't know, dogs or cars or something. You can find an image and you can open it up in its own separate tab. Now you can grab this URL, I'll copy it. I can paste the image URL down into the Google search and do search by image. And we can see that particular image, that exact image, this one here, can be found um, in the Wonder Workshop. This is of course a picture of Dot and Dash, our sixth grade robots. Um, so you can see where else maybe it appeared online or other visually similar images. Um, and that's the second way you can search for images. Now, another way that you can search for images on your Chromebook that is pretty interesting is you can be on a website. In this case, we'll be on the Little Bits uh, website. And you can go to an image and you can actually right click on an image. And there's search Google for image right there. Click on it give it a second, and boom, results. Um, we can see that little bits, visually similar images, where um, this picture shows up in other places on the internet, and it's pretty cool. So I would venture to say that even right-clicking on an image online and searching Google for the image might be the easiest way to do it. Um, if you are not, I should probably mention this is using Chrome, too, it has that option. Um, being on a Chromebook, that is really all we have. If you search for something and it is not already on the internet, for example, I knew my profile picture was on Twitter and I knew that would pop up. What I'll do now, I'm gonna do the same search by upload. And this time I'm gonna use a picture that I know isn't on the internet. This is a picture of my son. And I'm gonna have it upload just so you can see the difference. So there's the picture, it's turned sideways. But it says, um, no other sizes of this image found. It does show up. It's a picture of a child. It is. It's my son. Um, these are kind of like related sites. He's not actually on those web pages. Um, and they show you visually similar images. But you can see that thankfully no one is using a picture of my son anywhere else on the internet. And uh, that's a good thing. So now you know how to search for images on the internet and not only make sure the person you're talking to could be who they really say they are, but you can make sure that no one's taking your pictures either. See you later.